Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you how to make this super adorable cotton candy costume using items that you already have at home more than likely. And if you don't have these items at home, I have everything linked down below in the description box, so don't worry. If you're anything like me, you're always looking for really easy projects to make, including Halloween costumes, and Halloween is coming up really, really quickly. This costume only took me a few hours to make, and I did step-by-step -step instructions for you guys, so let's go ahead and get started and see how I made it. All you need for this project is a bodycon dress, some polyester fiber fill, spray paint, hot glue, cardstock paper, a headband, and this is optional, a pink wig. Okay, so this is the bodycon dress I got off of Amazon. It was pretty inexpensive. It's extremely see-through as you can see, but I feel like it's gonna be perfect for this costume. I'm hoping that once I glue on the polyester fiber fill that it'll stay on and it won't fall off because that would be an issue, obviously, because this is a stretchy material. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're gonna try this. Okay, the first step to this costume is getting your polyester fiber fill. Gosh, I got a lot of it. I was worried that I wasn't gonna be able to have enough to fill the front and the back of the bodycon dress. Um, but this is definitely enough. Now I'm worried I don't have enough spray paint. But I'm just gonna lay it down on this cardboard box down here. You can see I kind of already did some earlier. And I'm just going to take this pink spray paint that I have and I'm going to just spray it down. now and my hot glue gun is um, is in the wall right over there and while I'm waiting for it to warm up I put a box underneath this dress to kind of stretch it out a little bit hopefully this will help with like the stretching and making sure that it doesn't fall off so I'm just going to glue piece by piece right onto this dress that when I put on my dress for the first time after attaching the fiber fill, some of it was popping off. This is where it got kind of tricky because I decided, and this is probably not a smart idea, but I decided to just glue it back on myself while I was wearing the dress. Be careful you don't burn yourself because that could definitely happen. And then I took off the dress and then kind of redid it that way too. Um, I don't think I did it completely right the first time. So it's just a little bit of trial and error. That's just kind of how it works with DIY projects all the time. Also, pro tip, make sure you are stepping into it instead of putting it over your head. If you step into it, you can kind of wiggle your way up. It is a bodycon, so it's going to attach to you pretty, pretty well. So you just kind of have to like wiggle your way in. And that's how it worked for me. Okay, now that the dress is done, I'm going to make the headband that has the cone with a little bit of cotton candy on top. So what you're going to need is some cardstock. I found this kind and it is glittery. I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but I thought that was perfect. Your glue gun, and then a plain headband. I got this white one to kind of match the cardstock. You wanna roll your cardstock up. it so it doesn't come undone. And 
and then you're going to glue it at an angle on your headband. finish you start gluing some more of that cotton candy around the bottom just keep going with it until you feel like it's enough and it looks good and this is the final look enjoyed this video it was really fun to make and create and I'm totally gonna wear it for Halloween because it's already done it's taking up half of my closet right now it's actually kind of funny um, but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are brand new here I would love to get to know you guys better and if you have ever made your own homemade costume let me know in the comments what costume you made that was your absolute favorite Thanks for watching guys and we will see you in tomorrow's video. We're actually doing a vlog style video and I'm taking you guys with us to the Great Wolf Lodge. So tune in tomorrow.